hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you very much for tuning in today i'll be teaching you how to make a rally trap a rally trap that is able to destroy t5 rallies and cap rallies very very easy guys and it's also a very simple rally trap you can build even as a free to play you can build um, this um, very very easily so going down we're going to uh, before we start i would like to wish you all a happy new year and also before we start please subscribe click that subscribe button now if you haven't really really help the channel a lot and also like the video too help the channel a lot too thank you so much thank you so very much for the support last year today i hope you guys please please keep up that energy you okay guys now so first of all we are going to be starting with the troops so before we start, I would like to tell you all I'm a ring trap and also a Gryphon ring trap. It enables me bitch um, rallies. Gryphon ring trap, that means um, I hide some troops, then I recall them with um, the homeward being familiar. Yes, very, very easy to bitch rallies. Um, most people will know it's a Gryphon, some wouldn't know, but it um, doesn't hurt to try doesn't hurt to try at all so first of all here we have um 30 kt1 um cavalry and um that's to help protect my t2 from the pirates attacks yeah especially when you get rallied you get hit with the pirates a lot most of the time so this is to help your t2 not get hit going down we have um two million infantry and a hundred k t2 range and um two million cavalry and t2 each um each t2 all t2s so looking at this we you, you will notice i have um 51,000 extra um of my infantry t2 and um you will notice i also have um 34,000 close to 35,000 of my cavalry t2s that is 2.2 million 2. each for my cavalry and my infantry going down you will notice um, i have a um, 100k to the infantry and um 42,000 siege first of all siege is to help kill off um, the little amount of troops that works back um, um the, the little amount of the enemy troops that work back after after or during the rally so it helps take them out that will enable you to help capture the leaders and also um, the the theory in fear is to just help um, give some moral support to the low amount of t2 which i have here yeah, most people say you shouldn't use um, t3 in your rally trap yes i agree with them you don't um, need to use the tree too much amount of t3 is very bad for your rally trap but a little bit will won't hurt no a little bit this little won't hurt your rally trap it's very okay so you can have a little to help so sub, um support them um, the low amount of um t2 we have here and going down you'll notice we have um 600k each almost uh let's just say 600k estimates of each um c4 we have um the range cavalry and um the Infantry, we have 630,000 infantry, 650,000 um, range, and we have um, 600k um, cavalry. You guys, and first thing you will notice is uh, I have more infantry than cavalry squad in my composition. Most um, ranging traps um, have um, cavalry as the highest um, squad but i have um, infantry as my highest squad and there are some good reasons for that i'll tell you guys now the first reason is the um, the t5 familiars is to enable me to take um t5 familiar damage in my infantry instead of my calf as um, calf do much more damage to the enemy troops than the than infantry so 
I don't want the number of my curve um, going down. I don't want the squad number reducing. I want it to keep fighting, no reduction. So that is um, one of the reasons why I have my curve um, lower than my infantry. And the second reason is um, also curve. Uh, sorry, the second reason is also is T5 familiars and um, wedge. Yeah, when getting hit um, and the and also range rallies yes range rallies is like um, the kryptonite for a range range trap yeah range rallies do much more damage um, than an infantry rally and i will explain that now first of all if i get hit by t5 familiar and i get um, close to 500 to a million damage just from um, 85 familiar i'll be left with 1.5 to 1 million um rest of t2 and if i have um carve as my highest um squad number i'll be taking a very very um high amount of damage here which would also lower the squad number and lower the amount of damage it will be dealing out to the enemy troops and um secondly wage Wedge um, as a range room trap is um, wedge is also a kryptonite, especially when getting hit by range rallies, and the rally leader is in a range wedge formation, or you are in a range wedge formation. It will not end pretty good at all. So here's the reason why. First of all, you get hit by a range rally, and it happens that the rally leader which hits you is is in a wedge formation he will kill um half of the total number of your front line yes i'll be losing them um, for my t4 i'll be losing let's just say i'll be losing 325,000 for my t4 and going up to my um, um t2 range i'll be i'll be losing just 50,000 then the range rally will start the range will target my cavalry which is very 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 bad guys very bad having range rally hits and uh, attack your cavalry is very bad guys so i won't recommend that at all so you should try to strengthen your front line as much as possible yeah so when you're getting hit by range rally you won't be taking much losses and if possible the range rally is able to kill half your front line if you deal a very good amount of damage to it it will be very weak um, to take out too much of your cavalry when um, it eventually kills half your front line so let's say we get hit by let's say my calf is higher than my infantry and i get hit i'll lose close to a million 500k of my c2 and then the car rally the sorry guys sorry guys the range rally is able to kill um, half of my front line my range front line i mean and i'm having less than 2 million cavalry left to let's say a million only a million left i mean the range rally will absolutely destroy my calves easily so i need my squad number of my calf intact if they will be facing the range rally at any point which is not a good idea and is not what you want to be wishing for so you need them um, to strengthen your front line as much as possible if possible get more um front line more range front line close to a, a million to 1.7 which helps a lot and um yeah we have um 100k T2 range. The reason why I have this is to help protect my T4 from black wings. At least to reduce the amount of damage I'll be taking from a black wing and also to re um to reduce the amount of damage I'll be taking from a black wing and also to help me bring out uh, my cow my T4 from the sanctuary out easier and also to be reducing the amount of damages uh, your guide mates will be taking um, when reinforcing you 
you won't be losing all your reinforcements if you have um a t2 up front so if possible you should be able to build um 200 to um sorry you should be able to build them um, up to 200k if possible build up to 200k of um your front line of range of the t2 to enable your guide mate not lose all their t4s when getting hit by black wings it really helps a lot and um going down to the wall heroes we have um first of all we have um the bombing goblin this gives them um, army attack which is very very important army attack and army hp both are very very important to your traps and then um, we have um the dome the demon slayer helps to gives a um, moral boost to the infantry and we have um, one cavalry hero yeah we have rose knight which also gives the army attack to all troops to all troops to all squads and then um, we have child of light which also gives them um, um, supports the calf hero gives stats and hp to the calf um, um, to the calf army and then um, we have um snow queen yeah uh, we have snow queen the reason why i use snow queen is um because it has um hp she gives 50 percent hp yeah which enables my front line to hold as long as possible as a range ring trap your focus is for to enable your front line hold as long as possible especially when taking a range rally so that way you won't be having so many damages as range rallies do much more damage than infantry rallies to a range ring trap oh that's the, re that's the reason guys just the reason for the two range heroes is to enable my range hold as long as possible and deal has a very good amount of damage and here we have um, a trickster it offers a hundred percent at max to my front line which is range and if as a range as a range trap I will advise you get this max guys yeah I will advise you like get this is very very good for a range trap 100% um, when you lose just 10% on like um, T2 rally traps they will be losing a lot as a T2 rally trap I will never advise you to use um, this stacking familiar because you will lose a lot of T2 before you even start yeah before it even activates as a full rally trap and yeah going i have i'm using this um this is to enable like to give me um, like to support my front line too um if you guys have noticed um the enemy familiars all almost activate at the same time and during that time they will be doing a whole lot of damage so you need them um, as anything that could really assist and to help your front line hold as long as possible and going down and um, we have um, the drawn out familiar every single um, stat in this game really matters so 15 percent debuff to the enemy really really help you uh, take out the enemy troops faster so i recommend this if possible you can get this first or second and um, then you get the the trickster very good and then um, you can get the graph on those are the three i use if you are planning on opening a fourth or a fifth slot so i would say you should also go for this one you should also go for this one it's very very good Hope helps your front line a lot too and um sorry guys okay if possible for the fifth slot you can get this increased range max hp when applied for Sorry guys, increase um, range um, max HP for 80% when used in battle for 10 seconds. Very very good. Helps your frontline hold 
for a long time to kill out to kill most of the enemy troops it is very good guys very very good for your rally trap so you can use um, those familiars which i've showed you okay now going to my type my gear the type and also my stats yeah i'm okay Just let me put on my real work gear so this is my real work gear yeah as you can see i'm trying to focus on um, hp you know anything that gives hp to a troop type nothing really mostly attack so first of all we have um the first wing which is very very common in all rally traps now which is okay yes so very common in all rally trap and then um, also we have um the bubble hem the reason why i use i'll say you should use a bubble hem over a beast helm is because beast helm gives um less uh, hp compared to bubble hem so bubble hem gives more hp so i recommend you use um, this if possible and here we have um, the firewall plate which gives hp too and also some attacks to different type of troops to two troop, troop types and here we have um, the dragon talon also for the hp and also it gives range attack and here we have the lunar scimitar the reason why I'm using a lunar scimitar is um, because of the HP too. If I can get this uh, meat to gold, possibly to gold mythic, but gold first, I will switch it out for. I will be switching the lunar scimitar to for the winter meat, which are very very good because it offer way lots of HP. So that's it guys i won't advise anyone to use codex codex is mostly used for attacking not really defense so all whichever one you would like to use all depends on you and here we can see we have the fear drum the fear drum is to give support to the cavalry to help support a lot it helps the cavalry do um, a lot of damage because um, you need um, the cavalry stats Cavalry is like um, the backbone for a range ring trap. So, for a range ring trap, so yeah, mostly range. No, for a range ring trap, I would say that. So it's like the backbone. So enables you to kill out the enemy troops faster. And yeah, we have um the we have um, the bonus scroll, which gives you army HP and army attack, which is very 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 good army hp and army attack very good for your trap and um we have um the sorry okay we have the ambrosial cup it gives um hp to your range and your infantry and um also gives attack so it, it gives them stats it gives hp to your infantry and then um, your range and um, also give them um, your attacks that's your infantry and your range which is very very good especially for your range front line to hold on to hold as long as possible to avoid the range rally from killing half of it then moving on to your cavalry so i'll be showing you guys my full and um, my talent settings as you can see squad offense all full as the first you fill then you can like go down to and start filling from the bottom yeah we have the squad health the range fence the infantry all attacks so yeah so you can see i'm trying to give them um, get much more range attack to be very very nice yeah help strengthen your front line and um okay and now we'll move we're well, moving on i'll be showing you my stats so these are my stats guys yeah 327.65 for infantry 354.3 for range and 339.1 for cavalry very 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 good guys and um going up and you see a hundred and 56.1 army attack and um, 151 for the army defense and um, 350.6 army HP 
if possible and um, maybe in the future i'll try to get that to um 400 or 500 but that's free to play it's very very hard and also i did um this um one two sorry you can see uh I did some okay, let's check a little bit i did some familiar yes i did some familiar attacks which helps a lot and um, the reason why i did them was because sometimes you see a titan um, leaderless do um, way much more damage than some do much more damage with, with leaderless sorry guys let me rephrase you see uh, some titans do much more damage with just um, the research um, stats i mean than most rally leads with 600 700 percent stats the titan will do more than that with just his research and this thing no leader um starts deployed just um research that is like let's say 200 so yeah and, that, and you would, and they will, and they will be dealing way much more damage than those with 600 percent stars or 700 okay guys that's um, the reason why and um, going down to my research as the economy is uh, maxed and we have the gems um first in there and we have um the okay what do we this is my first um rally um, this is my first account my first lots mobile account is also a rally trap now so i made a lot of mistakes researching defense um, wall i was thinking that would um, help me or maybe stop troops from ever going through my wall i would just do so for not really really useful i won't advise anyone to do a wall um, research as you can see we have um, the military and the military and we have this all down to the t4 siege which i don't plan on doing anytime soon but as soon as i get tombs to do the counter research yes i'll be i'll be researching siege and here we have um, the monster hunt my monster hunt gear is not so good so i have to do um, most of the monster hunting research to help me also contribute to the guide and going up um, we have um, yeah just a little bit mistake on my side here and here we have um, a whole lot of research and most of this research was to help me pay for most of the story most of this research was to help me like to help me get um, the sixth slot yeah, this is the um, army limit sorry guys this is army limit this is army limit yes as a gryphon ring trap it enables me to hide um, more troops so that's the reason why i had to do the cyst army limit okay yeah you can see we have um the witch and the army leadership you can see I have um, my first um, Dream Trev research maxed. That's to help me with gems. Yes. That's to help me with um, gems as free to play. If I need all the whole gems I can get. Okay. And going down, we have um, the military command, which I just did till um, the breakthrough to help me get um, my mythic gears. Stuff, it to say. Yeah, you can say I did um, some research to get um, the pack theory to unlock um, and do a uh, stacking familiar. And here we have um, the familiar battles, which I explained. I did um, I did some of the um, research here, which um, really really helped me a lot when taking rallies. Hey yeah, guys, okay. And I have it up to the third slot, which is um, just helps me add one more family and helps strengthen my front line. 
yeah we have suggest i did some research here too trying to get a little bit um research i can get to help my front line every single research you can get is very very good so yes as to why i did some of this research to help um my front line and also help me and rallies we have um yeah i'm not doing this not a rally day, so yes i will not be doing that so we can look at here yeah, just a little bit of research here to save little troops so that's my research guys yes that's my research and um, these are my buildings trying to work on being a wood hyper soon and um this yeah we have um infirmaries just one barrack and one mino and the rest infirmaries yes yes because the infirmaries also gives you five percent army hp and it is very very good so Try getting all the army HP you can. Yeah, it's very good for your trapping. Yeah, I think that's all. And um, also, I'll be doing um, hopefully next week. I'll be doing a uh, oh, sorry, or soon before the before this goes out of the labyrinth. I'll be doing a um, live video to help get um, this. Hopefully, I'm able to get this to purple. Yes, so hopefully, I'm able to get that to purple. Okay. I'll, hopefully, I'll be doing a live video for that. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, that is all. I need to know about my rally trap. And this is what I have. Yeah. Not really much. It helps a lot, so yeah. So this is my rally trap, guys. There's some upgrades. Hopefully, I'm still thinking about getting a second cup because I don't want to replace the scroll yet. Still thinking about it. Not sure though. So this is my cabinet. Okay. It's my cabinet. So that's all you need to know for about my rally trap. Very simple and easy to do. Yes. So thank you so very much for watching. And thank you so very much and once again i'm wishing you all a um, happy new year hopefully you're able to learn and do this type of trap for your for your own very good guys thank you so very much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't and like and share this video if you enjoyed it thank you very much